What you are about to see is part two of an exclusive limited edition miniseries, The Stuart Chronicles. The Connors and the Stuarts, my forebears, came from this area of Virginia, Montgomery and Floyd counties between Roanoke and Christiansburg. Bounded by Interstate 81 to the west and the Blue Ridge Parkway to the east, the area is rugged and mountainous. Elliston, Shawsville, Allegheny Springs, Crockett Springs, Dark Run. These are familiar place names in our family history. Standing together here are my two grandmothers, Grandma Connor on the left and Grandma Stewart on the right. I never knew Grandma Stewart. She was born Julia Ann Creasy in 1852 in Bedford, east of Roanoke. Julia Creasy Stewart had eight children, five girls and three boys. Grandma Connor was born in Shawsville, Virginia in 1852. Mary Isabel Connor had three children, Irene Carmen, my mother, the oldest, known as Cammy, Ellis, and Dora. The union of these two families came about on New Year's 1900 when Willie Stewart, born in 1878, married Cammy Connor, born in 1881. They moved to Bluefield, West Virginia, where my father became interested in photography and opened a photo studio. Grandma Connor lived with us in Princeton until she died in 1940 at the age of 88. Here, Grandma, Aunt Dora, my mother, and her lifelong friend, Lucy Maxey, get playful for the camera. My grandmother and my mother were deeply religious and had a profound influence on my life that lasted to this day. Here Grandma and Aunt Lou, widow of Grandma's brother, talked together at a Connor Stewart family reunion in 1939. Aunt Lou was approaching 100 years of age at the time. There was an old spinning wheel in the parlor and we took it outside to film this scene with Aunt Lou. She had no understanding of motion pictures, and I think this film was the first she ever saw. She knew I did a lot of drawing, and she thought I drew this picture. She was quite impressed. Aunt Lou was a Stuart before she married James Connor and moved to a farm near Princeton, West Virginia. I don't remember knowing Uncle Jim, but I visited that farm many times and knew their children and grandchildren. Well, back to my family and my brothers and sisters. Here is an early picture of our parents. Their first child was named Verona. She died in infancy. Their second child was Eldred Ellis, born in 1902. Lois, Mildred Valoris, came next. She was born in 1907. This family picture of her with Mama, Eldred, and Randolph is the youngest picture I have of her. Randolph was born in 1902. Here we see him with Eldred and Lois before Robert came along. Robert was born in 1915. Sorry, but that's the best picture I have. And that's me, in case you don't know, born in 1918. Last came Rene, Julia Irene, the crown jewel. Rene bewitched the family for about three years. She was much photographed and adored. She died of diphtheria when I was about six years old. I am told we were inseparable. I do not specifically remember her. As the family grew, we moved from Bluefield to Princeton to Ironton, Ohio to Huntington. And the little boy in the sailor suit grew up to join the Navy, but that's another story. <laughs>